Okay, we're gonna film just kind of a basic flat set. And so we're gonna work off of the end of this log for kind of our backing. So the trap's gonna go right here. And I gotta admit, this sandy, very sandy soil is uh, easy to work with. So some of you may not have it this easy and we don't certainly don't have it this easy most of the places we trap. So if you, when you're making your trap bed, if you bowl it slightly, it's easier to get your trap to bed. So the trap's kind of resting on four different points and there's that little gap below the trap. So just kind of a, I may have to adjust this when I get the trap in there, but um, that's kind of a good starting point. Get a cable stake on here. We always connect our stake cable stakes at the set. We we don't keep we don't attach our cable stakes in advance. It's just so much easier to keep them from getting all knotted up and tangled up when you're in your uh, however you're carrying them in your truck. I'm gonna overdrive it slightly. Make sure it's going to hold. Now I want I want the trap basically level with the, the with the grade of the ground, so I'm going to build this up just a little bit. Make it a little bit wider there for the levers. There's nothing wrong with putting more dirt back in where you've dug it out. Just a little bit more. So now you can kind of see that trap is basically pretty darn solid just without even messing with it. So. piece of wax paper for a pan cover. This chain right here, if you can push it down a little bit, our chain's fairly long and we've got uh, those shock springs on there. Some, sometimes it's a little more to cover up. Just dig a little trench for them and stick it in there and cover them up. So, Lift the loose jaw up. So I'm going to spread this out. There's a couple ways you can do this. Actually, there's a bunch of ways you can do this, but this is the basic idea of a flat set. And essentially, a flat set is just a trap that's basically buried with level with the grade of the ground, and it doesn't have a dirt hole. So you can call it good right there. And that's, this is generally what we do. Sometimes we'll blend them in and you'll take the surrounding vegetation around the set and start, and be careful with leaves and pine needles, um, that kind of thing, because they can actually get in your trap and form um, on the edge of your trap and actually make it easier for the animal to slip its foot out. So. You don't want to use big leaves. These little leaves are fine. We can kind of just do that right like that. Maybe sift a little more dirt on top. And then that dirt we don't necessarily want here by the set. So, if I ask, where do you put your attractant? How do you do your attractant on this set? So there's a couple ways to do this. And as you can see, I'm working off the end of this log. You could work off of the side of it, but I think if you work off of the end, it pinpoints the attention right here. Sometimes, the, if it's not a big enough log or if you're using a rock, the animal will move it if it's not big enough. So this way, it's a little safer in that respect that they're not gonna move it and end up, you know, fouling your trap up. So it most likely it's gonna go this way or that way. It's not coming this way. All right, so. You want to use a coyote gland lure here. This is our coyote gland 202. 
This is a territorial set, essentially, so we're marking a territory like dogs do just in your yard, wherever they pee, every dog's gonna come by and check it out. This is exactly the same thing. This set does not have a visual attraction to it, per se, you know, like a dug up dirt hole with lots of disturbance. So we're gonna take that gland lure, we're just gonna put it right here on the, right here on the backing. And this particular backing, it soaks into that end right there, so that's, you know, that's even better. Um, so we're gonna have that there. We're gonna take a little shot of coyote urine. We're just gonna put that right there. And that's what we're gonna do for the tracking. Now, if you have some coyote droppings that you've picked up on wherever, you can just set one right here and then you'd be good. Like I said, this is not a visual attractant set. This is a territorial marking set. One thing that we've done as a variation on the set, and this is far from being the purest um, idea of the flat set, but it just adds another level of attraction, and it does kind of take away from the territorial marking of the set. We just take this log, and we're going to roll it over temporarily. I take my stake driver and wall her out a hole like that. take some top dog and stick it down in that hole and then we're gonna just close it back up just like that then we're just gonna roll this log right back over on top of it so we've got on this variation of it we've got the top dog under this under the log buried which they can clearly smell we've got the gland lure and then we've got the urine and of course the trap is right here so you can take this set and work off of that basis for the, the flat set. Um, come January, February, a flat set that's territorial with the gland lure and the urine and a coyote dropping is very, very productive. Um, sometimes starting as early as late December, it's a good, it's a good set, but generally um, the, the idea uh, is that, that territorial set. And you can throw that other element of attraction in there or curiosity in there with the, the um, buried top dog. So um, just kind of want to give you an idea and kind of use your imagination with this set. Uh, some of the trappers that are more purist than me, you know, that's probably going to drive them nuts that I would say that. But um, the uh, um, variations of this set Charlie Dobbins has got a set called Variations of the Flat Set. So we don't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be chiseled in stone what we're going to do with this actually set here. So anyways, this is um, where your, your basic fundamental flat set. Uh, and you could, there's different ways that you can do to blend them in, um, that kind of thing. But um, this, is, this is generally, if we're going to make a flat set, this is how we're going to make it and this is what we're going to do.